girls varsity softball has a game at Delta Park at 345. Be there to support your riders on their first game. There is a boys baseball game at Sandy at 330. Cut sports riders. Poetry Slam is on April 3rd. Go to the library to sign up. There's only two clubs left. Yeah, the student march staff game Wednesday, March 13th. Dirt flex in the main gym and come show your school spirit and wear your neon war colors. Make sure to come watch me ball out on these teachers, man. Hey, hey riders, buddy. come geek it up at the Teen Tech Week extravaganza. There will be games, demos, and challenges with the tech team. During flex on Wednesday, March 13th. Today, we're celebrating four students who have demonstrated respect over the last month, specifically diversity. These students will receive tickets to the March 18th Blazer game against the Indiana Pacers. First off, our first student is Andrea Gaspar Diego. She offers great perspective to my classroom. I love the opinions and facts you bring along with your intelligent questions. Thank you for coming to class and being such a hard worker. Uh, Mrs. Tobek. Another student is Ali. I see the way you recognize and embrace different values and cultures. You see your classmates as assets and are always open to learning from them. I love having you in class. Best, Mr. Swanson. And Eva Angus, thank you for always bringing your culture into the classroom and always reminding us to keep native issues and history in our hearts and minds. You are so strong and powerful, Miss Rogers. And lastly, Claire Hoffman. As I was reading your letter, I was reminded of what a remarkably aware, compassionate, inquisitive, and action-driven young person you are. You, being who you are, continue to the greater consciousness of our community and that one might truly embrace their own diversity. From Ms. Grass. And our teachers. Ms. Yunamine. She is a very loving and caring teacher. She treats her students like they were her own kids. She strives to teach her students about all of the injustices taking place in the world and how they can make the world a better place. She's helping us learn how to change the world and embrace all differences. And finally, Mr. Fly. Mr. Fly is dedicated to making sure students know the truth. He isn't afraid to tackle topics that traditionally haven't been taught in public school. He encourages growth and openness with all topics. He keeps it real. Lastly, he is adapted to different students' needs and creates a very comfortable learning environment. Now, now riders, get, get out there and act with respect and integrity, embrace your diversity, empower yourself, and live with resolve. In essence, be a rider.